and I sold Macfish to pirates. I said, no, I'll retain 50% of uh, Macfish. Can you imagine retaining 50% of a human being? I said, no, <laughs> I'll retain Macfish 50%. Uh, we negotiated for a long time with, uh, with, with Dr. Koza. In the end, he saw that he can't break me, so we, we ended up agreeing. Lazio wanted to buy Macfish. And uh, the agent came and I said, no, no, no. When you talk about Macfish, you don't talk to Dr. Koza alone. I have to sit there and listen and hear. Because uh, now we're talking of dollars or, or euro. So they called me to a meeting and I sat there and I listened. And then they said, okay, now we have to fly to, to Italy. So we're sitting in different seats in the plane with Dr. Koza and we flew to Italy. And when we go to Italy, we find that Mark Fish, a deal was being done behind our backs <laughs> by the agent. So, you know, Dr. Koza, he knew always trouble, you know. <laughs> So he calls me, says, come, let's go there. And he says to me, he points a finger at me, he says, he speaks in, in Zulu, he says, Mfunung lalele lash. Must figure up. You become a very good guy. Me, I become a bad guy. <laughs> and that time we needed the money, eh? So we went, sat in the board. Uh, uh, Dinozov was one of the top goalkeepers, comes along, and the agent comes. Hey, they started talking, you know, money, 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 money. Hey, me, I'm in another world. I, I'm used to selling players with 1,000 rand, 2,000 rand here in South Africa. Now I hear them talking about $5 million. I said, oh my God. <laughs> I'm in the right spot here. Yeah. <laughs> if God can ask me again what you want to do in your next life, I'll say, no, I want to back soccer because I can sell another Macfish. So we sat there, and I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, for me, it was the first time I sit in a room where people were negotiating. It, it was unbelievable. He, Dr. Koza was unreal. And me, I was a nice guy. And I kept saying, no, man, don't, don't get upset, Mr. Koza. <laughs> and, and he says to me in Zulu, Kubeagu logun kuza, man. <laughs> so we reached a deadlock where we couldn't agree. And he, <laughs> and he hits me with a knee and he says, <laughs> so he stands up. He says, I cannot stand this. I'm going. <laughs> so when he turned, he says, <laughs> he, he was worried of the money, you know, because if he goes, maybe they'll say the deal is off. So he says to me, Don't forget to stop me before I get to the door. 